mind games women play on men. You guys have to be aware of these things because what's happening is you're getting strung along, you're getting done, dirty. And what I noticed about women in their mind games, <clears throat> it's not about really anything for them to gain. Right? I stated before, women are very envious and upset because uh, us men have a lot of time in our hands. Time is actually on our side. So, like, when I looked at it in the past, just over the years dealing with women, and I realized what they did was not even about them. It was about them trying to <laughs> just just waste men's time. And the reason why they waste their time because they are frustrated with their life and they know their time is ticking. Shout out to G-Money. Women's time is always ticking. And they know us men, there is no biological clock for us. There's no... Uh, I, I gotta, oh, I'm about to approach 28, 30 years old. I gotta settle down. I gotta get married. I gotta find a guy. All right? There's there's no clock for me. Shout out to Mr. 238 Music. High value man turning in. We will open up the phone lines in a bit. But I want to go over some, shout out to Terrell Torrance, some mind games women play on you guys. Guys, a lot of times women try to trick you into giving them attention. They'll try to uh, act like, you know, Oh, uh, I'm interested in you. I call it the indirect game. They do a lot of this. Right? Make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. Now, the indirect game, how it's played with women is she'll text you. Right? Let's say you just got her, her, her uh, phone number phone number for dating now. Or you got it in person. Wherever. And she'll text you. Hey, how's it going? What you up to? And she might send you an emoji or something like that. She act like... Oh, yeah, I'm into you. I'm into this conversation. I'm into, you know, whatever. And then you text her back like, hey, I'm doing this. Well, you know, uh, so uh, where you live? And she'll, you know, hit you with a couple more text messages like she's enthused and excited. Then the indirect game or indirect mind game is she'll just totally pull back. I'm talking about like the conversations get one, maybe two word responses. And you're like... What, what the heck is going on? What, what happened? I, I, I thought you was... Uh, you, and you're looking at the text message and you're like... Uh, you look at the text there like, what, what's... I thought everything was cool. And the reason why she's going to play this indirect mind game is because she understands that in order for her to receive what she wants from men, which is time, attention, and money, and resources... What's going to happen is she's going to have to get you to chase. And every woman, well, the vast majority of women, some same form of fashion, will try to get you to chase. And this is one of their ways. Women know that it's crazy. It's funny and crazy, but they know the only value they really have is when they're getting external validation. It's when they're getting us men to pursue them and chase and, uh, like a fool. But we all know if you're a high value man, there's no need to chase. Women live for games. He said, Tom and Jerry, shout out to G Money. Shout out to Terrell Torrance. Mr. Uh, Bob Spence said, hello, hey, how's it going, brother? Guys, make sure you support the stream. Go to the church. And you guys need to be up on these mind games because what will happen is they'll just string you along. And you'll be like, uh, uh, you, you want to hang out? And they'll say something like, oh, um... I don't think I'm, I can this weekend, but uh, possibly next weekend. You're like, uh, okay. And then she'll say, oh, but we can keep talking on here, though. We can keep talking. We can keep texting, though. That's the game. That's the <laughs> we going to get in this, man. That's the game that these women play. Press one if you can hear me really good. Press two if you can't, if you can barely hear me. Shout out to N. Shout out to N. Wilson, ninety four. And you like, okay, cool. Uh, we gonna get together, hang out this weekend. Great. And then uh, 
when the weekend, when the following weekends come, because today's Thursday, let's say she says, oh, I can't do it this week and I'm busy, but let's do it next week. So when you look at your calendar, that is a whole eight, nine days away. So within that eight to nine days, she's meeting other guys, she's hanging out, she's sleeping with dudes, and she just puts you on a back burner while you sit there and actually wait eight to nine, possibly 10 days to hopefully hang out. Right? And the reason why she's doing this as well because she knows that, man, this guy, he's all right. But I know that I can do better than him. I know that, that, that it's more to life than him. Women love having guys around. It's, it's almost like, and, and this is why I laugh at, uh, at women when they say, oh, guys, guys only just want sex. Yeah, and you women have tons and loads of guys who are actually, who most likely who have genuine interest in them and who want to hang out. But these women will literally hoard up men just to use them for attention. Like women have, guys, women have men on a back burner for like a rainy day. They're like, uh, and here's the thing, they're like, mm, I'm laying in bed. Uh, let me text some. Let me text this dude out. Let me text like ten dudes, just so dudes can entertain me. This is why I told you guys: if if you ain't hooking up, having sex with a woman, hanging out, there's no need for you to talk to him and communicate at all because she's just like, especially at night. This is another game they'll they'll, they'll do. It'll be like eight, nine, ten p.m. and she'd be like, "Hey, uh, what you up to?" Seven p.m. You're like, oh, I'm just, I just got out the shower. I just, you know, got in from work. Or I just got in from whatever. And you ask her, hey, what you up to? And what she, <laughs> what she'll say is, oh, I'm just watching a couple movies, laying in bed. Who's had that take before? Hey, I'm just watching a couple movies, laying in bed. Nothing much. And in your mind, as a man, that's like the green light to, oh man, you watching a couple movies? It's 7, 8, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Let me slide over there. That means she probably want me to come over and hang out. And you're like, hmm. Well, let me text her and say, hey, do you need some company? Hey, how about we watch? And then you'll text her, hey, how about we watch movies together? And then she'll say something like this. Oh, I'm about to go to sleep in a little bit. Maybe another time. Oh, I'm about to go to sleep in a little bit. I got work in the morning. And you're like, but you're watching movies right now. And you're texting me. So if you keep the conversation, text the text going, thank you, just to reject you. You'll be texting her for like two hours straight that night. And you're like, well, it takes me 15, 20, 30 minutes to get there. And I've been texting you since you said you uh, in the bed uh, watching movies, hanging, laying down. I've been texting you for two and a half, three, four hours at night. We started texting at 7 p.m. And you said you in the bed, laying down, watching some show. And now it's 11 p.m. and we still texting. you like, I thought you was tired. I thought you was sleepy. Don't you got to work tomorrow? I had to warm up with that. Like, I remember I was I was texting the chick, 7 p.m. And she literally lived, I kid you not. Literally like five minutes from my house. I couldn't believe it. That's why I was on a dating app for a while, while back. And she's like, uh, she, you know, talking to me and everything. And then, you know, things started getting a little hot and heavy. I said, hey, what you up to tonight? What you up to right now? She's like, oh, nothing much. I'm just hanging out, uh, you know, uh, watching a movie. And you're like, oh, hey, let's get we, let's get together tonight. And she like, oh, uh, you know, I, I got a, I, I got, I got something to do tomorrow morning. But hey, we can do it. A, we can uh, maybe do it another time. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm texting her, and what, and what, we gonna get to the how women use dirty text messages to 
to, to get you to give them attention to. So then you're like, oh. So I noticed it's like 9 p.m. And I'm like, uh, I thought you were supposed to be asleep. This girl said, it was, I was like two hours. And she was like, ha, 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 you're right. I'm like, then she tried to text me again. You there? I'm like, playing that game. Didn't even contact ever again. She contacted me the next morning. I was like, man, I ain't, I ain't even reply back. Now, another mind game. Shout out to Amir Brown. Thank you for contributing your five shekels, brother. Much appreciated. Another mind game of women will play on, guys. And it's, it's, it's crazy, but it, women will conjure up and find a lot of different ways to uh, get attention and validation from men. So I have women do this stuff. And it's usually off women off dating apps. That's why I stopped messing with those things. You will match with a chick and, and you say, hey, text me. You're like, oh, this she, she acts so cooperative. Then, she's, then what happens is the mind game, she'll start getting extremely freaky and sexual over text. Like, I'm talking about, like, you're like, man, this girl really get to me. I'm talking about real freaky, texting you. I mean, I mean, all types of stuff. You're like, man, yo, this, this, this girl is actually, like, you know, really, I mean, has the hots for me. And you think she does. You're like, man, I never really had a girl text me anything freaky or sexual like this before. Like, in a long, long time, many, many years. And the reason why she's getting freaky with you, not because she actually wants to hang out with you and get freaky with you. It's because this woman knows that's her only way to get any sort of real male attention. Because women who usually do this are like kind of mediocre women. They're not insanely attractive. They're like average chicks. Six out of ten, maybe seven. And then you're like, uh, oh man, she talking about, you know, Doing this in the bedroom, she like this position. When a woman starts to like be very forthcoming about what she likes sexually, like over the top, huge red flag because that means she's just doing it to reel you in and get your attention. And then you say, "Oh, uh, let's get together tonight. Let's, when you free, let's hang out. Are you available these these days?" She like, "Oh, I, I don't, I don't know. I gotta check." And you like. And guess what? She baited you in. And I noticed it's like a bear trap. It's almost like quicksand. That's why I tell you guys, relax on a text, the texting. Because the more you text women, what's going to happen is you're going to get deeper and deeper and more invested. And the more invested you are, the harder it's going to be for you to say, all right, you know, that's it. It's kind of like guys who are on uh, online chats. And they're texting girls and and, uh, and and emailing girls back and forth or whatever overseas and sending them money. What's going to happen is they can't actually pull back and pull away. They get stuck in that in, in that mindset and, that, and emailing chicks from hundreds and thousands of miles away. And mediocre chicks, that's what they usually are, have the huge, I'm talking about the egos are so huge. That's what I tell you guys, man. Stop dealing with these mediocre chicks. I seen a post on Facebook where a female was like, oh, I get any, I've gotten any guy I wanted. Guys, I, I, I promise you. And she was just a, I mean, below average looking girl. Matter of fact, she was, old, matter of fact, not even below average. She was unattractive. She was overweight, literally. And you know, Facebook, they get tons of shares. So I'm looking at the shares. I'm like, she said she get any dude she wants. And I'm looking at it like, and all you see are thousands of women who are single mothers and overweight, who are, and these women are below average in looks. They're like, yeah, I got any man I want. And you're like, what the? And you look, I'm looking at their profiles. I'm like, they got three kids and they had her. Boss chick, queen. I'm talking about, you can, you said you see my neck. Guys, their neck was connected to the chest. Most of them. I'm talking about like a rooster. You know how the rooster has this? It was most of them was connected. I said, man, of course you can get any dude you want. Because most men don't mind smashing you real quick. Of course. But will that dude actually want to be with you? Heck no.
Not at all. Another mind game women will play on you guys. Because we talked about, oh, let's get together. Let's hang out. And she's like, oh, I got to see. The reschedule mind game. This is why I tell you guys, whatever you do, do not reschedule. Do y'all see my ass? When a woman says reschedule, she's doing one of two things. She's trying to control the situation. So here's the thing. She wants to flip it. So let's say you have a date with a chick tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday at 7 p.m. What's going to happen is she said, oh, like maybe an hour or two. Women aren't being taught this game. Oh, tell them, let's re tell them you need to reschedule. And they're doing it because they want to gain control of the whole situation. So if you agree to reschedule, in her mind, she thinks, oh, I'm doing this guy a favor because I'm so busy as a woman. I have so much going on. So we'll reschedule and I'll give him... You, me, another opportunity. So when you guys actually get together and you guys actually, if you actually do the dummy and reschedule, she's going to actually have leverage because she's going to be sitting there across from you or hanging out with you and she's going to be like, uh, yeah, my bad. I, ooh, I had a lot going on. And she really didn't have anything going on. What she was doing is she was most likely sleeping with another dude, banging another dude, another offer that came up was better. Or she just wanted to gain control. That's what happened. That's another mind game that you need to just... Any rescaps, I'm telling you, I don't care if this is the most attractive woman on planet Earth. Respect and dignity comes number one. Do not reschedule. Now, here's the thing. I reschedule with women. I reschedule with women. And... I noticed when I did, and when they, we got together and hung out, it never worked out. You know why it never worked out? Because they, was, they wasn't they was actually really into me. They were just really into uh, just being there. A lot of guys understand, women don't mind, as crazy as it is. They don't mind just hanging out with you. So a lot of guys think, oh, she just like hanging around with me. She come over to my place. Guys, do you know something? Let me tell you something. When you meet a woman and she comes over your place or y'all start kissing or whatever, another mind game that she will do is she'll touch all on you. Kiss all on you. On your neck, on your mouth, in your, in your chest. She'll touch, she'll touch your private. She'll do everything in a book. But when it comes to making things happen and having sex, you know what she'll do? Oh, I think we're moving too fast. Here you are, full-blown hard-on. Sitting there like... Uh, 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 okay. And she's sitting there like, yeah, let's take it slow. Or she, what she'll do is, you guys be kissing and touching and everything that you'll... She'll take off her bra. She'll take off her top. And then as y'all kissing, she'll be like, so um, uh, you don't think we're you like, you don't think we're moving too fast? And you looking at her like, what are you doing here? What do you mean? You're like, yeah, um, you, you don't think we're moving too fast? Or she'll say, so uh, what'd you bring me here for? Did you did you really did you just want me to come over just for sex? She'll start asking you all these questions. And you like, <clears throat> what do you mean? What did I bring you here for? I brought you here so we can hang out and have a good time. And then you like, what do you mean? Then she might say, so what do you mean a good time? And you're like, oh my God, dude. Like, then you're just like, man, just forget it. And women try to literally get you frustrated. It's like, they know that's the only thing they have to offer, so they'll try to play as many... Like, it's funny. Women try to play as many games as they can before they give it to you. I remember a while back, I picked the chick up. 
She lived like 15 minutes from me. I said, all right, because she said her, her car was in the shop. Whatever. Probably didn't even have a car. I picked her up. I'm like, okay, cool. You don't live far from me. As we coming back to my place, guys, we see a Wendy's right there. Hey, she said, hey, you don't mind? He like, could you? He like, uh, I'm really hungry. You mind stopping at Wendy's and give me uh, something to eat? I'm really like, uh, okay. But then how she phrased it as I'm pulling up through the drive-thru and it's a couple uh, cars in front of me, she said, uh, uh, she said, I'm hungry. Do you mind getting me something to eat? And I said, uh, yeah. And I, I thought about it. Wait a minute. This chick want me to pull up, get her something to eat. It was like, so we get to the front, and then I, I know I, I'm, I'm looking to my right. I'm looking at you know if she has any purse, anything. I'm like this chick. She didn't even get in with no purse. I'm like I'm looking like. We get to there. I'm like uh, then I like uh yeah. What you want? She like uh uh. Then she look and she kind of lean over me like this. She like uh like she never been to Wendy's before. Shout out to Mr. Monster. Thank you for contributing your 10 shekels. Thank you, brother. I'm looking like, she's like, um, and I can tell she never ordered the stuff she ever ordered. I'm talking about the tour it came out to $10. Thank you, G Money. Guys, make sure you guys put the links up, please, all the moderators. Continue to put the links up and cycle through. And you're like, uh, she like, oh, can I get the number three, uh, with extra onions? And, uh, can I get a large, uh, tea? And can I get a, uh, a large, no, she said, can I get a medium? Oh, uh, never mind. Excuse me. Let me get a large, uh, uh, what do you call those? Those chocolate, uh, shake things. A uh, frosty. There we go. Can I get a large frosty? I've never, I personally, I've never seen a large frosty before. When I go to Wendy's, I, I usually get, you know, they use it like a dollar and I get, you know, one or two Frosties or whatever. And that, 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 that this chick got a lock. So that means, <laughs> that means she didn't even eat before we hung out. She didn't eat. She straight up just said, hey, let me, you know, let me, uh, you know, let me get in this guy car and come with him and hang out with him. And he going to feed me. It's like almost like women know they're gonna give you sex, but everything is like, oh, I'm, let me, let me, let me just try to put them through everything I, I can because I know this is the only thing I got. Let me try to pull out any mind game. Let me tell them to take me over here. Let me tell them to take me over. I never forget, guys. I kid you not, guys. I got so many mind games. This might be story time, man. I never forget this thick Hispanic chick. She lived like twenty five minutes away from me. I said. You know, it was a while back. I said, all right, let me, she said, she said, uh, you mind picking me up? So she gave me an address, right? I said, all right, I'll be there about 25 minutes. I said, I can take you back. No big deal. And I was like, uh, 25. I said, not bad. Because chances are when you pick a girl up and she come back to your place, sex is going to happen 99% of the time. Am I right or am I wrong? When you pick a girl up, and, and and she, you know, she's the you don't you don't need ride or transportation she has at the time. Chances of you guys hooking up having sex is 99% of the time. Now remember that 1%. That 1% of the time. What's gonna happen? She gonna do some goofy stuff. So I never forget. She had, I mean, she, booty and everything. I never forget, guys. And I was like, man, I was on, I was on a little dress spell. And I never pick chicks up. So I'm like, you know, just things can get a little spotty. But I said, you know, I, I'll just do it this, you know. Well, heck, why not? I was, I was going through a dress, but it was like a, a, a couple, you know, a week and a half. I ain't smashed none. I'm like, all right. A couple of my chicks on my roster was acting goofy and they fell off. I think they got boyfriends or whatever. Who knows? So I, I said, let me, let me get together with this chick. So I kid you not. I go pick her up, right? And she gave me the address. Do you know I pulled up to a church? This is, how the, this is how deep a woman's mind game goes. I pulled up to a church. Right? And I'm like, 
yo, is this the address? She like, yeah, I'm about to walk down the street right now. I'm like, where do you live? Why didn't you just give me your address? She's like, oh, ha, 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 I'll be there in a second. Now, a minute goes by. I'm looking around. I'm like, is this, this might be a setup. Three minutes go by. Five minutes go by. Ten minutes go by. I said, you know what? If you have any questions, hit the super chat. I said, man, I said, I'm getting it. So I drove. Like, I, I, I did a reverse. Make it right. She's like, hey, I think that's you in the black car. I said, uh, yeah, I'm about to get ready to go. She's like, oh, my bad. I have to do something. I'm like. So then I, I, I said, all right, come on. Because I'm impatient. I don't play no games. And hey, uh, my, uh, moderators, please monitor the chat. Any any goofy, sad conversation, get rid of them. So, and then she get in my car. I'm like, okay, she looked good. She looked like her pictures look. So we drive back to my place, right? I'm like, all right, finally. You know, I'm, I'm just ready to smash. I'm getting out of the dry spell. We hang it out. Thank you, uh, Terrell Torrance. Guys, cycle those in. Terrell... Uh, TJ McAvoy, Jensen, and, and G Money. Thank you, brother. So we get to my place, right? I hop in the shower real quick. Just got on my boxer briefs. I mean, where's she going to really go? I, I mean, I, you're thinking in your head, as a logical man, I'm your only ride. How are you going to get back? And she was another one that didn't have a purse. We get there, get back to my place. I make a couple burgers. I make one for her, one for me. She started rubbing my shoulder as I'm cooking the burger. I'm like, oh yeah, she okay. This gonna be, this gonna be easy, of course. Remember, I said that 99 percent of the time when you go pick a girl up and, and you bring her back, and she has on transportation, you gonna smash. This those one percent of the time you don't. So we hanging out at my place and we chilling everything and. You know, I started touching her butt. She started touching my abs and everything. And then she's like, uh, you know we're not about to have sex, right? I never had sex on the first day. And in my mind, I'm thinking, how are you going to get back home? <laughs> I didn't say it, though, but I, I'm looking like, she said, yeah, I don't have sex on the first day. Now, I heard this a few times, you know, from women and, and, and we still hooked up and hung out. But I don't really like dealing with those type of women because they can use some false accusation against you. So, you know, I try, you know, I try to escalate and everything and uh, we touch on each other. And she and then I go to take off her leggings and she, you know, she kind of pull away and pull her leg up. She said, nope. She said, nope. I told you I don't have sex on the first date. And in my mind, it's, it's not that I haven't dealt with those type of chicks. But those type of women, they actually had a car to drive to me. So I didn't, so I didn't really mind them playing the game. Like, okay, I, you know, I can kick you out of you. You go home, you drive. And I'm like, the audacity. And I'm sitting there like, that's the second time I said, maybe something is going to click in this woman's head because I'm not sure. <laughs> Do you not know that I picked you up? I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I'm like, so the second time. So I said, all right. So we, I'm sitting down, chilling. Five minutes go by, then I go to make the move the third time. Touch on each other, then she start to give more resistance. I said, I put my stuff on, put my shirt on. She said, everything okay? I ain't say nothing. I said, all right, uh, we, let's just call it, let's call it a day, man. She said, okay. And she she said, okay, like it was not like, okay. Like it was like a joke, like, Okay, like, like this is how I told you, women just go around just playing straight games. So I, I picked this girl up. She lived 25 minutes away from me. And I bring her back to my place. And you, and you, what are you doing here? Like, what are you doing? What are you trying to accomplish? That's how I tell you guys, women need constant stimulation and external validation. Women get off on rejecting men. So to the detriment of them, Wasting their time and their energy. Women will re listen. Women will waste your time as a man just to waste their time. I'll say that one more time. Women will waste your time just to waste their time. So.
So I said, all right, let's call it a night. And then she like, okay. She put her leggings on, put her shoes on. She's standing by the door or like in the hallway kind of the door. I look at her like, <laughs> I'm washing my dishes. I'm like, come on, man. Let me, I know you get the hint that I'm getting rid of you. And that's how I know women are so used to playing that game because she acted like nothing was wrong. Guys, this woman act like nothing was wrong. Like, okay, well, I played games with this dude. I touched his, his private area. I, I, I touched his, his abs, his face. I kissed him. I touched him. We touched on each other. Now he's going to take me home. He got a full blown heart on. Now he's going to take me home. <laughs> so she's standing by the, in the hallway by the door. And I'm like, I'm just cleaning up around my house. I'm vacuuming. And I'm like, come on, I know you get the hand. So she's standing by the door for, le I, guys, I promise you, for like 45 minutes, y'all. And I'm just cleaning up around my house. I'm like, dude, I know. Like, don't you understand? Like, Then I connected. I said, this girl has done this many times before. Like, straight, like this girl has done this plenty of times. This is not her first time doing this. And yes, Kingstown, I know they don't think like us, but there's some sort of logic that comes into that. I mean, I mean, not even, I mean, just something has to click. I know women don't use logic, guys. I'm a professional at dealing with women. I, I, listen, I coach men around the world on a week, daily, weekly basis. But there's some sort of, I mean, something that clicks in her head. Like, this guy picks you up. That's how you know women have nothing, the vast majority of women, have nothing else to offer because they just get validation and play that game. So she sat about it my, my, in the hallway by my door for like 45 minutes. I get done cleaning up my living room, my house, my wash my dishes. I said, uh, you still here? She said, <laughs> what, what do you mean? And I I said, you know what? I could have said, get, the, get out of my house. Leave. I could have did that, but I said, you know what? She's done this before. She's played this game before. So I, Darius, is going to look out for the next man. I'm going to look out for the next guy. Whoever that guy might be, he might be white, black, white guy, black guy, Hispanic, Asian. He might be one of you guys. So I said, you know what? Darius is going to look out for the next guy who she's going to try to play this game to. So I said, I, I calmed down. I was calm through the whole thing. I sat down. I said, I said, listen. And she's about to pull the table out. I said, I said, uh, the chair. I said, oh no, you can stand up right there. She's like, oh, huh. and she's just like twirling her hair. And when she's twirling her hair, I'm looking like you're a grown woman. What are you? That's how I knew the vast majority of women, their mental development, it's it's still kid like. It's still like at, at, a, at a third grade reading level. So we, I'm sitting down at the table, got my fingers and hands crossed. I said, let me get this straight. Sweetheart, you had me drive 25 minutes away. You gave me a dress to a church. You made me wait 10 minutes. I was, a, I made it, I made a reverse. I was about to go home. Then you said, hey, I'm, I'm, I, that you in a black car. So that means you must have been, what, what that means, guys, when I'm, with the picker up and I, I waited 10 minutes. I said, you know what? I'm, that's it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm bagging up. I'm reversing. And, and I start to drive like 10 seconds down the road. She said, hey, you in the um, black, that shoot a black car? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, I'm coming. So that means she must have been looking out the window where her real address was and said, let me see when he drives off. Then I'll hit him up real quick so I can say, here, I'm at. Oh, listen, and I said, listen, then I pick you up. I drive you back 25 minutes back to my place. You have no car. And I'm straight up talking to her like a child, guys. I said, you have no car. You uh, didn't bring any money. Didn't, you, didn't, didn't bring any purse. What do you, 
what are you doing? And then you come to my house and touch on me, kiss on me, and play games and act like you ain't going to make nothing happen. What do you expect me to do? You know what she said? <laughs> I don't know. Um, then I think things start to click. Because she's like, oh, man. Uh, this dude going to kick me out and not take me home? She didn't say that, but things start to click. And then after that, she, you know, I said, listen, you got to go, man. I said, then I said, don't, don't ever do this. Don't ever do this game to any, any other guy. Cause trust me, it's childish and petty. Stop playing with guys time. I was calm through the whole thing and she left out. And I, you know, I did what I had to do in her house. I, I spent another good hour, you know, just uh, watching highlights. It's starting to get dark. So I said, let me go to the gym real quick, you know, get, Get, get a little workout in. So as I leave my apartment, I'm thinking maybe she found a rag. Maybe she started walking home. This girl is sitting on the steps outside my apartment. So I walk out. I look at her. Get in my car. Girl, drive off. I go do my workout. I play some basketball. Make sure all my doors locked everything. So she would try to come back and do, do nothing malicious. I two, I kid you not, two hours goes by. Cause she had she had a phone. I'm like, two hours goes by. I come back thinking, hey, this chick most likely either get foot at home or got a rat. She's still sitting there. Oh. Guys, you can't make this stuff. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Still sitting there. So as she's sitting there, I'm looking like, you still ain't getting all right? And she like looked at me real quick. And... So I, I go to my house. I, I said, man, it's crazy, man. But that's a sort of mind game women play. That, that it, 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 it never fails. Seriously, it never, ever fails. Call the show, 630-618-7110. Guys, that's just one of the many mind games. I'm talking about she just wasted her time. That's why I said women waste your time just to waste. Women waste their time just to waste your time. They don't care. Oh, guys, if you would like a, somebody asked me about uh, my email. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one consultation, uh, shoot me an email. Oh, my bad, guys. We got uh, super chats. I'm, I was going and going and going. Shout out to uh, Mr. Kingsley John, John's up. John's okay. I'm 32. You really helped me learn how to deal with women. Here's a little support. Thanks, brother. Thank you, Mr. Kingsley. Oh, excuse me. Killingsley. Forgive me, brother. Thank you, Mr. Killingsley. Love you, man. Shout out to D and D Nico 7. Thank you uh, for contributing those five euros. Also, shout out to uh, D Nico 7 again. Greetings from Europe. Your content changed my life. How can I contact you via email? I'd like to present you my case. Could be a good video. All right, there's my email, man. Shout out to Brown Horner 975. Great to see you, brother. He <laughs> said, let's just say she's Now, I have to work the next morning, so clear. I mean, clearly she wouldn't stay overnight, night, but she got some ride home. I don't know what But I said, man, this is... I, it was so loud. That's how... But... You got to understand, dealing with women, I remained calm through the whole thing. I could have got upset at her. I could have been like, yo, man, what you, what you? But then I said, you know what? She's just a female. That's what women are got to do. Not all women, though. Not all women, but that's what women are got to do. It's just how, it's just, that's their way of getting validation. Because I guarantee you she has some guy piping her down at home. I guarantee you. Because women who are actually into you and, and not on that goofy stuff, they're going to make things happen sexually and physically with you. She most likely tried to just use me for... Uh, more emotional stability.
Because I guarantee you, she didn't play that with the guy she was actually into. And like guys, a lot of women, you gotta stand. They will come to your house and hang out, but never really like you like that. Because a lot of women see you as a good, stable guy. She most guys, she most likely is sleeping with the guy or was sleeping with a guy who had no job, who had no car, who didn't have his own place. And what happened was she saw I had a job, I had my car, I had my own place. So she's like, okay, you know, I'm gonna go to this guy's house and, and just try to string him along so see what I can get out of him. Because he's a stable guy. I'm telling you, that's how women think. That's how they think. They they will literally just play games, waste, and, and and she most likely saw me more as a beta provider. Not that I am one, but she tried to get me into that sort of thing. So here's the thing: what she, here's what her plan was. Her plan was to come over to my house, string me along, touch on me, kiss me, flirt with me, and then. Take she wanted me to then take her back home so I can be strung alone and texting her, hey, when can I see you again? And then she would have came over a second time, she would have touched on me, kissed on me, and most likely would have made things happen. And she would have started demanding things. That's 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 what her that was her mindset, or she would have tried to uh you know get something out of me. Guys, get this last year with thumbs up. Women everywhere use sex as bait. That, that, that's just their, that's their number one go-to. They use sex as, as bait. That's just their game. Now, most women will do it in moderation, but the vast majority, they want companionship, they want security, money, now, the more attractive you are, the less games they'll play or the more they're into you. Because you can be really attractive, but a lot of women will still play games. So that's why a lot of uh, a lot of dudes like, oh, yeah, man, Darius, you six feet tall. Oh, you six foot three. Uh, you are a reasonably attractive guy. I know you can get girls. I know women will play games, too. Yes, women will still play games. Now, I know how to limit those games. So I don't get played at all. Like, there's no, I don't, I don't get played no more at all, literally. But a lot of guys don't understand, even if you're really attractive, a lot of women, what they want to do is because they know that you're too, you're really attractive and you most likely got options. So they'll uh, hang out with you, probably hook up once, and then they'll ghost you because they scare to compete. That's another mind game we play. They're scared to compete. They know that you have options. They know you're a good-looking, attractive guy, so and you got everything together. So they're like, "Oh, I, I, I you know, I don't want him to reject me." I, guys, I, I have women tell me this. Oh, you're too attractive for me. I, uh, um, you know, I know you can do better than me. And they straight up was real. See, when you're a good-looking guy, there's still it still has its shortcomings. Yeah, you get sex here and there, but uh, most women will treat you like, oh. I can flake on him. He, he, he has replacements. He has other women that he can see and hang out with. Why does he need me? And you like, I thought we was going to hang out. What's going on? See, when you're a good-looking guy or, you, or she knows that you can get sex or you're, you're tall, you're trying, whatever, you're successful, women will just treat you like you ain't nothing. I've had women tell, like, tell me, like, oh, um, I mean, this one chick said a while back, he said, you're uh, you're a good looking guy, and a lot of good looking guys I don't even, I don't like going for because I said why? She says because I don't want to be I want to be the uh, the better looking uh, person you know a couple in a couple. I said you want that doesn't make any sense. So women actually go, but then it, it dawned on me. I said that does make sense because I try to put it from a man's perspective. When we see an attractive woman, more often than not. You look at her, you're like, man, she look good. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to go talk to her or interact with her. I don't want to approach her, so I know she might reject me. She might have a boyfriend. She might have all these dudes that's coming after her, so I'm going to deal with this average, uh, maybe overweight chick. That's the same thing, how, same way how women see it. They're like, oh, 
Darius, I know this guy, Darius is attractive. I know this guy over here is attractive. Uh, I don't want him to reject me. I know he works out. He's fit. He has his life together. So um, let me uh, just not deal with him because I know he's going to reject me sooner or later anyway. That's how women think as well, man. I kid you not. Shout out to Mr. Boots Coyote. You know what I really appreciate on you? That you speak truth. You speak from experience. You're a real G. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Richard Viking. Thank you, brother. That's all I try to do. Guys, all my content that I've created, especially on the main channel, on this channel, it's all been through experience, man. So I've never, any every word that's come out of my mouth, it's been all something that I've encountered, that I've done, that I've seen happen to me. Any and everything. So you know it's the real truth. Unscripted, man. Call the show, 630-618-7110. Guys, get the likes up. Before we take calls, we got 429 people and count. Let's get to 200 likes. Everybody get us live stream a like before we uh, take calls. Let's get 200 likes in here. If you appreciate the content, give it a like. We got 400 plus people in here. We should have over 200 plus likes. Shout out to Mr. Amaze. This is progressive red pill. It has helped me operate more effectively with women. I was once a solid uh, corporate simp. Appreciate your content. Thank you, Mr. Amaze. Love you, brother. Let's get these likes up, man. Matter of fact, let's get to 250 likes. We got 424 people watching. We're going to take calls, man. Let's get to 250. Very easy and very do uh, doable. Heck, most of y'all like these uh, random women posts. These women who would never give you the uh, time of day, get us last week of life. Right? Another mind game women will play is, uh, and, and that's why I told you guys, if a woman says, oh, let me, um, how about we FaceTime before we hang out? You know right then and there, she's going to nitpick and look for things so she won't have to hang out with you when the day comes, be it uh, the next day or day after or whatever. She'll try to nitpick and try anything. Oh, I'm going to see if he say something that I don't like. Oh, you support this president? You support this political candidate? I, I, I don't want to. I, I don't think we should hang out. So if you get on that FaceTime with her, you can bet 99 times out of 100, she go, I'm talking about try everything. Here's the thing. Even if you get off the phone, like the phone call, or, uh, FaceTime her, what she's got to do is like, okay, cool, I'll see, I'll see you all tomorrow. And you start feeling something off like, man. She's got to think about all that y'all talked about. And she's got to most likely run it by her friends. And when she runs it by her friends, her friends going to be like, uh, I don't know about him. So you don't just got her wishy-washy emotions in the picture and her decision-making, which is all crazy. You got two to three to five other girlfriends. Oh, you got five, six other women. So you're literally in a hurricane. <laughs> and you got, and you're like, man, okay, she's going to show up tomorrow, man. And all of them are like delegating. Like, like the nights out of, like uh, the flaky nights of the round table. So they sitting around like, hey, uh, they might put you in a group chat. They're like, uh, should I go hang out with him? I don't know, girl. I don't know. Maybe. And one girl like, yeah, I think he cute. I think he cool. And another girl like, really? I don't know about him. You should maybe try the other guy. So <laughs> literally the blind leading the blind. So she most likely wanted to hang out with you, but we all know women need approval from third parties. She needs approval from someone else. So then she hits you back. Hey, um, I don't think we can hang out. Uh, I, I got to reschedule. I'm, I'm busy. And you're like, I thought that FaceTime or Skype or video chat call worked. I thought I thought it was cool. I thought everything went, went well. You probably talked to her for a good hour, hour and a half, two hours probably. 
And you like, yeah, you know, we're going to have a good time tomorrow, girl. She like, ha, yeah, I can't wait. Okay, cool. And then guess what? Like that, she changed her mind. She already, and here's what's the funny and messed up part about it. When you guys are having that video chat, for all you guys in quarantine, doing all this goofy stuff. She knows right then and there, within the first three to five minutes. Shout out to Julian C. Thank you, brother. Oh, um, I don't really like this guy. I don't, I don't like the vibe. But she will keep, this is the messed up part. She will continue to talk to you for an hour, two, three hours on FaceTime. Knowing good well within the first three to five minutes, she knew she wasn't going to talk to you or hang out with you or meet you. Shout out to uh, Brother Boosted Coyote. He's been uh, with me in the brotherhood for a very, very long time. Juice Fun, get them lights up. Thank you, Boosted. Love you, man. Always been supporting, always been contributing. And it's all just for attention. That's all it's for. That's why I tell you guys, man, you got to get straight to the point with these women. If you don't get straight to the point, they're going to string you along. They're going to manipulate you. They're going to waste your time. And they don't, they're going to kick you to the curb like, oh, uh, like, like, like it's nothing. And you're like, man, then you're going to invest all that time. Then you're going to get even more angrier. And then you won't allow her to string you along even more. Guys, let's get to 250 likes before we take phone calls. We get to 250 likes. Everybody give us a thumbs up. We got over 400 people watching right now. There's so many different mind games, and women keep coming up with them month after month, year after year. Now, would every woman play these mind games? No. Not every woman. Every woman will play it. Trust me. And I think uh, most guys in the manosphere try to, try to lump every single chick in here. Every single woman will play these mind games. Some might play three, four, five of them. Some might play just one. There are some women who won't even play no games at all, man. I've dealt with women. There was so, when a woman's, I notice when women are more attracted to you and they know that you have other women or that you have the ability to replace them, the chances of them playing any sort of games, games, will diminish. I mean, they won't even, they won't even try you. This is why it's best to just look the most attractive as you can and be the most attractive. The better looking you are, the less game. It's true. Guys, let's be honest. Women ain't gonna, if you are a very attractive guy in her eyes, that's why I tell you guys, a lot of a lot of dating coaches tell you, oh, yeah, work on your behavior. Yes, that's that's part of it. But if you ain't attractive, all that working on your behavior and whatever, it's not gonna work out. This is why I tell guys. When I have consultations, guys, get these likes up, man. Let's get to 275 likes before we take a call. This is why your, how you look and how you present yourself is, is very, very important. Invest in a good razor. Uh, invest in how to cut your hair. Invest in um, uh, acne, proactive, whatever you got to do. Because this here matters to women. First, more so than your behavior. See, what gets you in the door is this. You can have a slick mouthpiece. You can be uh, all that. You can say all the right stuff. But if your face and your head and, and your body is not on point, it's not going to work. Guys, get us last stream of thumbs up. Let's go. We'll, we'll take calls then. If you appreciate the content, like the stream. Heck, you like his thing. Like this stream like you like all those other women posted in the past. And some of y'all still doing it now. And they wouldn't even recognize you. They didn't even give you no, no sort of game. Y'all just like it. Ooh, you look good. Click. Like, you look, oh, you look sexy. Click. Like, click, click. And they just looking at you like, like you another Joe Blow. Go ahead. I know you're watching. Get this last year with thumbs up. I know it's hard for you. Or oh, how about I put a woman right here? Should I bring my chick in here and put her right here so she can just, y'all can sit in and, and and Google and Gaga and her. I could. Should I do that? I put put my chick on the uh on the um 
in a live stream, I'll be like, oh man, it's oh, who was that? Oh, yeah, y'all, y'all be more concerned about her as opposed to the wisdom I'm giving y'all. The lights will literally skyrocket. See, you guys gotta understand. A lot of guys, um, when it comes to this YouTube and social media game, um, I know how to get. Let's say I'm going through a dry spell in a couple videos. I know I already got a social experiment that I've already recorded. You know how I talk to an interactive woman? I already got one of those recorded. So whenever I want to drop it on the main channel, I can just drop it at any moment. It might be tomorrow. Excuse me, it might be tomorrow. It might be next week. It might be four or five months from now. I just know what gets guys. I know what guys want. And guys, they will go Google Gaga and I will get your attention if I have a woman right here. Or even if I have women calling. That's just how the game goes. So let's say I have a female calling right now. Hi, how's it going? Y'all be, man, forget this chick, man. Yeah, who is this? Y'all, y'all, y'all be all ears. It's easy to sell the man. I mean, extremely easy. This is why pimps make a lot of money. <clears throat> it's very, very, very easy to sell the man. If you want to sell the women, you sell them hope and you sell them dreams. If you want to sell the men, you sell them sex. You sell them women. Very, very easy. That's just how we're wired. Right? It's, it's part of the game. Shout out to Mr. Scott Gwen or Scott Nguyen. Um, King Darius only spitting out the facts. Keep up the good wisdom. Given, keep up the good wisdom given, brother. I appreciate you for that. Thank you, Mr. Scott uh, Gwen or Scott Nguyen. I, I don't, I don't want to push your name. It's just how it is. If you want to uh, have a big female fan base, all you do is got to do not tell women the truth. All you have to tell them is lies, give them hope, tell them that you can be 400 pounds and it's a girl, it's an attractive man who's half your weight, who's in shape, who will love you for you. All you got to do is tell a woman, even though you got three kids by three different men, you still deserve the world. There's a, still a man out there somewhere who will love you and all those kids and take care of you and give you a wife and family. All you got to do is tell women that. Now, if you want to sell, and you can sell books, you can sell a lot about, about you can, all you got to say is, it's all men's fault. You're, you're more than enough. Now, when it comes to selling to men, all you got to do is put a female right there. Matter of fact, a female don't even have to be present next to me. All I do is have to have a female call. That'd be cool. That's easy. All right, call the show, 630-618-7110. Shout out to TJ McAvoy Jensen, G Money. What's your name? Talk to us, where are you from? Hello? Yes, talk to us, brother. This is crazy, no way. Talk loud, talk loud for us, please. Okay, okay. Um, can I just start off by thanking you, honestly? Because a few months ago, I was, I'm not even going to lie, I was depressed feeling shitty and everything getting played by my ex. Hey, hey try to hey, no... hey, uh, hold on, bro. Hey, try to keep it PG because I got to keep this montage. Keep it PG. But uh, go ahead, man. Okay, okay, for sure. Um, basically, I was getting played by my ex and she was just stringing me along doing all this stuff and I just, I was just, you know, feeling terrible and I had no idea what to do and then I came across one of your videos. Which, like, which one? Oh, okay. Which one, brother, that um, intrigued you? I forget. I've watched plenty. I've watched a lot of them. Hmm. It was just one of the one, so just a random one of your videos that YouTube recommended me. Uh -huh. I clicked on that, started watching a bunch of your videos, started understanding like all the stuff you were saying, and it really did. It really did help me out a lot. Uh, it's great. I'm glad I could be a, of service to you. So, uh, how old are you, brother? I'm 17. Oh, 17. Okay. And uh, your girlfriend. Uh, how is she stringing you along and playing you? How old is she? She's also 17. Okay. My ex. How was she stringing you along? What was she doing? Oh, just telling me things that I wanted to hear and just saying, basically, we were going to get together in person, meet up, have a good time. And she just kept postponing the due date, late 
speaking because I was giving her way too much attention, responding every time she, like, we'd have conversations for long periods of time, and then I, I, I like, noticed the attraction fading, but I haven't watched your videos, so I didn't follow anything you said. And then all of a sudden, after about three months of just her using me for, like, emotional support and stuff, boom, she hits me with the, we're better off as just friends. Mm. Now, now, how, did you guys have sex at all in that relationship, or? Uh, no, honestly, we didn't. So, so, but you guys were together in a relationship, or was it, like, platonic friends, or? It, we started off as friends, um... And we bonded a lot because we both went through a lot of stuff when we were younger. And we both had our own, like, priorities and stuff. But it was like a seven, eight-month relationship. Mm. But we were sophomores at the time. Okay, so about seven, eight months then, you guys never had sex at all? Yeah. Wow. So you were just there for uh, emotional support. Did you guys see each other in school during passing period? Y'all have class together? Uh, yeah, we mm. did. So you got you gave all that attention and did she hold your hand? Did y'all kiss at all? Yeah. Um, yeah. Y'all kissed and then but y'all what did you ever try to like make a move sexually and make things happen or was she like how was she? I mean, well, none of us had a car either. None of us had like a place to go or do anything, so we were kind of just like stalemated. Hmm. So she was shooting. And that's how and guys, that's how a lot of women in uh or girls in high school would get y'all. Because uh, they know most guys don't have cars and most, most girls don't have cars and that's in, in, in growing up in high school. So it's easy for them to like just have a boyfriend and, and just get all that attention from you while you get nothing. You get to walk around. Your testosterone is going between the ages of 16 and 18. It's through the roof. And you're like, man, I'm... And then she just like, you know, basically your boyfriend and girlfriend is, but... Nothing can really happen physically. So, um, man, so when she broke it to you, was it over text or was it in person? She said, oh, I, you know, we can't be together. Oh, well, um, we actually ended, we ended things towards the end of sophomore year because she, because I wouldn't stand up to any of her, uh, I wouldn't accept everything. I started getting tired of some stuff that she was doing and I just call her out on it. Like what? She would not like it. Like what? Give me one thing. <sighs> just the way she was acting around other people. She'd do things intentionally to get me, like, to get my emotions stirred. Like, I remember we'd sit down at lunch sometimes and she'd stare off to other people and I'd just be like, okay, like, I, I get it. Like, she'd just be giving them that look, like, mm. to get some emotional response from me. Mm. And, and, and that's how it is. And here's the thing. You all was 16, 17... It's gonna uh, happen with these, these oh, 15, 15, 16. This is gonna happen when you're 25, when you're 35. So it, I notice it really doesn't change when it comes to. I mean, it changes maybe a little bit uh, as far as the women's sense of urgency trying to uh, cooperate a little bit more when she gets older. But for the most part, these women mindsets will stay the same. This is why they need to be trained. They need to be literally taught and, and to, to how to act and, and what what to do and what not to do. So uh, thank you for calling, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for talking to me. Yes, sir. He won't remember her when he's 18, 19. He's going to go away. Uh, literally, they throw all landmines. They they set little traps. That's why, guys, it's good that we have these live streams and they come together. Now, um, it's not that they're horrible creatures, but you got to understand, you have to wield your weapon, which is attention, so it can work in your favor. It's just how, like women do, guys, they wield, which is their, their weapon, which is their sex appeal, and us men wanting sex, they wield it to, the, to get what they want, but most men are not taught how to wield and, and take their attention and their validation to get what they want from women. So then they get led on and led astray. No, what man is really taught how to, because women are taught naturally. They're told men want sex, 
play these games, do all these different things so you can get what you can out of them. Us men aren't, aren't, aren't taught. Who knew about women's attention and validation uh, in high school or even years ago? Most men found out women love attention and validation. Most men. When they came to YouTube or when they found a, a Facebook or, or whatever meme about attention. We didn't just like, oh, wake up with like, oh, get out of the womb. You know, uh, women love attention and validation. Don't give it to them. Now, maybe a couple of you guys, but some of you guys like, oh, she love attention. But you didn't really think about how to use it in your favor and to withdraw it and do what you got to do to get what you want. Most guys don't. So most guys find it out from me. Most guys find it out from other guys. Most guys go through different things and they think about it. Man, that happened to me a while. I didn't even realize she was using me for attention. See, most men don't understand that they're be, they were being used in the past for attention or validation. Most men don't. Call the show 630-618-710. Let's take another call. Yeah, attention is a great male's weapon. But guys don't know how to use it. And in order to get what you want out of women, you have to understand, uh, use your attention like they even use sex to get what they want. One, you stop giving them your attention. And only reward women who cooperate. That's when you give them attention. Hold on one second. Uh, even your girlfriend, you got to literally minimize, even your girlfriend or wife, you got to minimize the attention you give them. It's crazy as it is. Talk, talk to me, man. Where you from? Hey, man. I'm calling from out of Texas. How's it going, brother? Hey, good, man. I just want to say, man, thank you for just opening my mind up to how these girls work, you know. Um, I'm a pretty successful guy, and just by, you said, making shit happen fast, I've been able to just cut out so many leeches that was trying to get free dinners. Like, these girls would get pissed off when I tell them, like, let's meet up at a park, man. It's just crazy. Hey keep, hey, hey, keep it PG, brother, please. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like, they get pissed off when I say, let's meet up at a park. And they'll say some stuff like, oh, how about, I know a good place, let's get some drinks instead, and I just ghost them, man. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, like... They, it's literally, they try to do whatever they got to do. Foodie, drinky, they got a, a, a drinky girl, whatever. You, they try to do whatever they got to do so they can get things from you before they give you the sex. I got a question that I'm about to upload on Patreon where uh, uh, a woman got uh, beat up pretty bad because she used the guy for a free meal. And, and the guy spent a hundred plus dollars on her and she didn't want to make nothing happen. And it's like, you know, now I don't condone violence on, on, on women, but the fact of the matter is dudes are starting to get frustrated. And I said this before, women are going to come across the wrong dude. He going to wake up, he going to probably, you know, not having a great day or something going to happen in his life. And he believes like, man, I'm going to take this woman out so we can have a good time. She likes me. She genuinely is feeling me and, and likes the vibe. He going to take her out, pay for the dinner, it's gonna be, and pay for whatever, uh, entertainment, then she's going to say, oh, you know, um, I don't think this is going to work out. We should just be friends. I'm just not fooling no more. And she, guess what? He's going to act out. of. He's going to go crazy because a lot of dudes are getting tired of being used. I was talking to a female yesterday, and I was like, uh, how would you feel if you took a guy out to eat and he said, hey, um, I'm good. I don't think it's going to work out. This female was like, yeah, I'm, she was like, I'm getting some side of sex. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, we getting some sex. And I, me and her was laughing. I'm like, yeah, see, that's how men feel. You know? Yeah, that's true. Man, I'm in a weird situation. Go ahead. So, there's this girl I've been talking to at work or whatever. And um, some people say she has a boyfriend, but she's never brought it up. And so, the worst situation is, like, she always, like, buys me food and all this stuff. And I never buy it, like, shit. 
I, oh my bad, I never bought her anything at all. And so, but it's like every time I try to make something happen, like bring her over to my house, she's always saying like, oh, I'm busy, I got this and that. And I know that's a lie, but it's like every time she's always buying me food and she's investing in me, but she's not trying to make things work out. Like, it, so I was wondering, what do you think she does that? For attention, like guys, you got to understand too. Just like I said previously, how, how I went to pick a woman up and she came back to my house, she had no place, no uh, right to get back home and she just uh-huh. dangling sex above my head. That's what women will do too. They'll buy you food. They'll buy you donuts. They'll do all these different things. And what they're not going to give you is their most valuable possession, which is sex. So this is why she's doing it. it, it it's Because it's, here's the thing. How much is that food? Co- how much does that food cost? Like, is she like, like, like twenty to forty dollars is some tacos. Like you said, two to four dollars. Uh, t- twenty. Yeah. So twenty dollars. That's like you know she give you that. Like how many times she buy it a week? Uh, I'd say about once a week. Once a one week. Time, yeah, because every time she asks me, she's like, "You want something?" So I'm like, you know what? Let me test this chick. I just lied to her and I said, "Hey, I don't got my wallet on." She like, "It's cool. I'll pay for it." So I'm just thinking, I'm like, okay, you buy me all these things, but it's like every time I try to make something work, you're not really down. So I just kind of walked away and just, you know. Right, because cause, um, a lot of women, that, that's how they that's how they get validation as well. You're, you're kind of like her work husband in a way. Women have work husbands uh-huh. too. You know, they, they uh, I, I hear them talk about all the time, oh, he might work husband. They buy to do some donuts. He might buy them some donuts. They talk and everything. That's still attention that she's getting but at the same time, she don't have to give you sex. And women, when it comes to them sleeping with dudes, they don't sleep with a lot of dudes at once. So she could, the girl you're talking to, she most likely have a boyfriend or she sleep Because you said you don't know she has a boyfriend, right? Yes, she thinks I don't want to have a boyfriend. But I've been hearing kind of thing, people saying that she might have one. But I'm in a situation where like I have more money and more resources than the guy. Right, but here's the thing. It's, it's so many different variables. That the reason why, okay, you have more resources, you got a most likely better job than the guy, but the reason why she's most likely with that guy, for a number of reasons. The first one is she gets control. So she knows that, oh, my boyfriend who has nothing, he will worship me. Outside of you, you have everything going on, so you're not going to bow down to her, you're not going to need her for anything. So in a way, because she's probably used to buying her boyfriend things or Whatever this broke lady guy. So she's like, well, I might as well buy him things. Like, I might as well buy you stuff. In a way. Yeah. It's just so crazy. Like, it just shows that this woman is just not logical. Like, I have, like, everything. Like, I have way more than this dude. And in my head, I was thinking, like, why would you not pick me over him? Like, I'm literally, like, ten times better than this dude. But yeah. it's just crazy, man. Yeah. It's, it's fear, too, brother. Like, that's why I tell guys, like, a lot of times, like, I remember I was out at the store a few days ago, and I seen this, like, I, like, I never forget, this, 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 he was a loser. I mean, like, straight up, and I don't like judging, man, I'm like, whatever, that's what, but you can tell he was just a flat-out loser. And the female he was with, you know, he had a cute, cute girl, and I'm looking like, I could, I could literally snatch this girl up from you. But guess what? A lot of women like that, um, type of guy because it's like they can control him. They don't have to uh, be scared that he going to leave. They can get worshipped. And on top of that, he probably don't got no job. So she knows that he lives with me. So I can go to work and then he don't got no place to go so I can come home and I can always have that security. When it comes to you, you can leave whenever you want because you probably don't play those games. And a lot of women sense that you know, this guy, he can he can leave me. And a woman's, one of a woman's worst fear is uh, being alone, you know? That's true. Yeah, man, I just want to say thank you, man. I'm a Patreon subscriber, too. I'm, I'm on the next level subscription, man. You changed my entire life, man. I just want to say thank you, man, for real. No problem, brother. I appreciate it, man. I do it for you yeah. guys, all right? Yeah, and, and for all you guys out there, man, listen to what Darius is saying. Like, I literally had a girl show me her phone, and this is how they save y'all's numbers. They'll have so-and-so free drinks, they'll have you under free food, they'll have you under good dick, they'll have you under free attention, all these other stuff, man. This chicks are talking to multiple guys. You're never the only one, man. Never only guy. Thanks for calling me. I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Shout out to Sean Croker. Thank you for contributing. Uh, Your five check with Sean via PayPal. Love you, man. 
Yeah, man, it, it's real out here. The, the game is real. Now, granted, guys, every single woman is not like that, but you can say the vast majority are. You just have to, and I, here's what I noticed about my journey and, and understanding and just hanging out and having a good time with women. Don't take them serious. Don't take them serious because once you do, I notice you're just done. Now, you can be present in the moment and have a good time, but when she leaves, okay, here's what I tell myself, and it's crazy, but it's true. This is how I keep my sanity and I don't lose my mind. I'm attached to the situation when she's here, but when she's gone, I don't care what she does. Like straight up. Even my main chick, I don't, she watches my last year. She's most likely, I think she'll watch it right now. She catches all my streams. She watches all my videos. Listen, I straight up tell her, listen, you loyal with me here? And she give me her password. She, she, she inspires me to do different videos myself. Right? So she give me her password to her phone. All types of stuff. She even has her, um, the GPS. You know how, if you guys got iPhone, you can put the, the, the share your location. She's like, I want to know where you, where I, I want you to know where I'm at all the time. All the stuff like that. But I say, listen, you loyal here. When you go, I don't care what you do. I can't stop what you're doing. And guess what? When you have that mindset, I notice she's like, women are more loyal. When women are all on you because when you care less about them, as far as them leaving you, she'll try to do whatever she can to get you to care about you leaving her or her leaving you. It's a, it's crazy dynamic, I know, but it's just how the facts go, man. So yes, enjoy it with them, man. Having a good time. But just make sure you know what you're doing out there. Because I'm telling you, the game is it's a savage game when you're dealing with women out here, man. It's not a joke. It's, it's, it's literally eat or be eaten. Women are taught to do what's right for them. Men are taught to just do what's right. If you keep that in your head, you'll have a good time with women. You understand them. I'll say that again. Women are taught to do what's right for them. Us men are taught to just do what's right. Which means we just better do whatever we got to do. We'll keep your head, your head down and and make sure everything's good. And, and women are taught to look out for themselves. 20, 24, 7, 365. They're survivalists. That's how they're built. No need to get mad. But we need to take, start taking pages from their book and look out for ourselves first. At the same time, still having a good time, still enjoying women, still not seeing them as the enemy. Because they're not the enemy. They're not these horrible creatures. That's just how they're built. And you need to do what you need to do to, one, understand them, and two, just enjoy them. All right, and that we're gonna end the last stream. Shout out to Mr. Uh, uh, Harper Singh, Harpret Harpreet Singh. Thank you, Mr. Harpreet. I love you, man. Appreciate that concept, uh, that uh, donation. And guys, if you uh, haven't got on the Patreon, I'm gonna put the Patreon link up, man. We got a lot of content and wisdom on that for you guys. Get on that next level game tier. There's the link. All right, we got another call. Go ahead, talk to us, brother. Where you from? Yeah, this is uh, Carlos from uh, Kansas, bro. Talk loud for us, please. Yeah, the, uh, uh, my situation was similar to the previous caller, but what happened with, between me and her was like she was like ten older. She was ten years older than me, man. Uh, I'm 28, and uh, she's uh, 38. So basically, uh, and she lives and she lives in a different country too. But, but we, we hooked up on online, like we started chatting online. So basically, and she had a child, she was a single mom. So but basically what happened was, you know, we started uh, noticing not, not each other online, and uh, we started chatting it up, and um, things led to one thing and another, and uh, we started to develop feelings for one another, man. But then, I started, by little by little, I started figuring out that she was using me, man. For what? What was she, what was she using you for? She was using me for attention, bro. And, and she was using me for, like, uh, emo emotional stability, man. Like emotional support, mm. you know. Same thing, same thing as the previous caller, man. Like this, this, this is what women do, man. They string you along, bro. Yep. They string you along and they and they use you, bro. Yep. It's just a fact. Like yep. a lot of guys, I realize, man. A lot of these women I hear do not want you, bro. They just 
want to, they just want to string you along and play mind games. Right? Now, now, he, now here's the dynamic. Here's the, here's the other dynamic. Mm -hmm. What guys got to understand is when you're dealing with women, because the last thing I want guys to do is I don't want them to say, oh, all women, they're just going to string you along and use you. They're just going to take advantage of you. They're just going to use you. Uh, what you have to understand is both parties want something. Somebody said, don't give services to women. You can do that. Both parties want something. Men want sex and some companionship and femininity. Women want security. Which one is easier to get? If you know what you're doing, uh, companionship and sex is easier to get. It's hard to get security, especially um, from a guy she really wants. She can get it from these thirsty beta simps and she's going to be disgusted. It's kind of like you sleep with a severely overweight woman. You're going to be like, ugh, yeah, I got the smash real quick. I got my nut off, but uh, ugh. So what needs to happen is you need to understand I have something she wants or she needs and she has something that I want, not that I need. Now, when it comes to both parties getting together and hanging out and making things happen, she wants attention. Okay, fine. I can give you my attention. But only if we hang it out, hooking up and having sex, I'm getting what I'm getting. See, what's happening is too many women, they're like, oh, I'm just going to use this guy for attention, but I ain't going to give him no sex. And they're just, they're just jumping from dude to dude to dude to dude, just using for attention. And, and they're going unsatisfied because they're not getting any genuine quality attention. Especially from the guy they like. That's why they go on, on these different apps because they don't want to give any sugar. They don't want to give a guy sex. A quality guy, a guy that they really want. They're just like, okay, I want to just get as much attention as I want. Attention, attention, attention. Even though if it's not great attention, I just test the guy three, four times. I keep it moving. Text him two times, keep it moving. Text them five times, keep moving. Flake, flake, flake. But they're still unfulfilled. So if women actually was real with themselves, what they really are going to be, some of them are, but most of them aren't, they can say, you know what? I have sex. I want attention. Cool. Let's come together. Let's make things happen. You can give her attention. As long as she's giving you sex and cooperating and cooking, cleaning, doing stuff like that. And both parties need to work together. But what's happening is women are just saying, well, forget what you want, dude. Forget what you want, some sex. Forget you want your clothes ironed and your dishes washed. I, but I just want your attention. I ain't trying to do none of that. I ain't trying to give you what I got. Women are not playing with the most, the vast majority of them aren't playing fair. Most of them are not playing fair. So this is uh, the, the situation, dilemma that they're in. That's why I tell guys, withhold your attention and validation is your number one resource for them that they want and your you know, your number one commodity that they so desire, all right? Annette, we out of here.